welcome. This practice is called radical acceptance. It is a distress tolerance skill from dialectical behavior therapy. Thanks to Marcia Linehan. Get comfortable. Notice where you are. You can do the sitting down, lying down, or walking or standing, whatever works for you. What I'd like you to do is start with noticing your body sensations. We're going to attend to anything that's going on inside your body. You can use your breath as an anchor. Breathing in, breathing out. Notice if you have any tightness or aches or pains, if there's a general sense of over energized or under under energized just taking a few minutes just to notice what your body is telling you If you notice that your mind takes you and distracts you, just notice that and come back to the breath and noticing body sensations. Now let's allow any emotions that are coming forward. Some of those emotions may be disappointment or sadness. Maybe grief is arising within you. Or maybe there are positive emotions such as grat gratitude, joy, Again, noticing if your mind distracts you from the practice, come back to allowing whatever emotions are coming forward. Now let's acknowledge Acknowledge that it's true that life can be worth living even when there is pain. Mm, that might be hard to acknowledge. For now, let's just say that life can be worth living even when there is pain. Let's now move on and observe thoughts with curiosity. The thinking mind may be very busy, busy saying things like, it shouldn't be this way. I can't tolerate the pain. Why is this happening to me? Why is, why is everybody else's life more difficult than mine? Whatever thoughts are coming forward, just observe and be curious. The thoughts might be saying, you're a failure, 
you do everything wrong. Or they may be blaming someone else saying, oh, it's, it's this person who doesn't know what's right. Or it's a parent that didn't give me what I need. Or you may have thoughts of, this is God. God doesn't know how to run his world. We're just curious. Just observing what the thoughts are that rise and fall with the breath. And the next step, we're going to practice allowance. Let's allow and give permission for our feelings and our thoughts to be there. And even our physical sensations, allow it. Just allow it and don't fight it. And that might be hard to do. I allow myself to feel disappointment, frustration, even shame. I allow myself to feel this. In this moment, I allow myself and my body without fighting what my body is telling me. After allowing whatever comes forward, let's practice acceptance. Breathe in and breathe out, breathe out. I accept and I allow. You can try a half smile and imagine the waves of the ocean flowing in and out with your breath. Accepting and allowing. Sometimes this is what it is. And it's not easy. I accept that this is my life. This is what I was meant to experience in this moment. Let's stay with, just stay with that, sending acceptance to whatever your experience is right now. If you need to readjust your body or move a little bit, that's also okay. If you find a distracting thought or a distracting sensation, just notice it and come back to that secure thought. I accept and I allow whatever I'm experiencing right now. In this last step, we're going to practice connect, connection and compassion. 
You have many choices when you practice connection. Some of us want to connect to the creator. Some of us want to connect to humanity. And some of us want to connect to creations in the universe, whether animate or inanimate. You can do all three if you choose. It's up to you. And I'm going to visualize connecting to a being who I love and trust without any complications. And I'm going to imagine that being in whatever way that being manifests. And I'm not going to observe how my heart feels when I connect to that being or that creation. And I'm going to feel the sensations of my heart opening up and send compassion and love to that being. In the next step, I'm going to imagine myself with that being. Who is here in my imagination, right here with me. Noticing that I'm not alone. I am connected to a being who loves me unconditionally and is there for me. And if it is difficult to connect to a being who is unconditional, uncondi then to the extent that you feel trust and connection and emotionally safe with this being, That's good enough. And let's connect with compassion to a larger community or the wider world. Sending hopes and prayers for safety, for health. For true connection and holding. and peace. Thank you for joining me.